Guys, I know you wouldn't want the whole world reading the text you sent to your nearest and dearest. That's why you're on the hunt for a secure messaging app. This video is going to answer your questions on which app is the best at keeping your deets private in 2021. Do you ever send sensitive personal info via text? Who doesn't, right? Well, unless you're using a secure messaging app, there's a chance you've been spied on. This video is going to show you how to pick an app that keeps those deets private. Take heart, fellow citizen of the net, because right now in 2021, secure messaging is not a myth. I'm about to share which messaging apps are the best at protecting your private info. But first, sub to this channel for privacy tips and reviews, and please share your experiences with me down in the comments below. Which messaging app do you use right now, and why do you prefer that service. If your messages don't have encryption to hide their content, they can be read by the company behind the messaging app. They can even be seen by third parties like governments that collect private data on their citizens. Even the best VPNs can't protect your privacy if you're using a messaging service that stores identifiable data about your conversations. Unless you're using an encrypted messaging app, all your private conversations are actually out in the open. But there are many messaging apps on the market and some are not as safe and private as they claim. You need to know about the best encrypted messaging apps, the ones that will genuinely protect your privacy and keep other entities from spying on you. Guys, that's why I'm going to share the 8 most secure messaging apps of 2021. I'll explain what sets them apart and also disclose if there are any disadvantages to each service. Most of the apps on my list are free. The ideal messaging app should have the following features. End-to-end -end encryption is crucial. It scrambles your message into undecipherable code. Only the device that receives your message can unscramble it for the recipient to read. Keep in mind that when a messaging app has end-to-end -end encryption, it isn't always the default setting. The most secure messaging apps makes their code open source so that security experts can review it to look for vulnerabilities. It's ideal if they can be used across multiple platforms. They also support different types of communication. Finally, the best encrypted messaging apps are independent from big tech companies that have a monopoly on the way media is shared and gather information about you from multiple platforms. My best secure messaging apps tick most of these boxes. Two apps tick all of them, and you're about to find out which ones. Signal may be the most encrypted messaging app of 2021 and it's totally free. It uses advanced encryption methods to make sure messages are kept private. In fact, the NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden stands behind this app. End-to-end -end encryption is the default setting so you don't have to figure out how to enable it. Signal is open source. The public can find and report bugs. Plus, the way it operates is upfront and transparent. There are no reported hacks or breaches. The company behind Signal, also called Signal, is an independent, non-profit organization. The app works on all major platforms. You can send text messages, share photos, videos, and files, do video and voice calls, and join chat groups. You can also set messages to disappear after a certain length of time. The only downside to using this app is that signup isn't totally anonymous, so you have to provide your cell number. Signal is currently experimenting with alternatives. In the meantime, some users suggest using a burner SIM card. The Wicker Me Messenger is also one of the most secure messaging app of 2021. It has popular free versions and a couple of paid plans too. There's complex end-to-end -end encryption and it's switched on by default. Wicker's apps are open source and you can set a timer for deleting conversations and files you've shared. Other nifty extras are screenshot detection and keyboard blocking. The company behind Wicker, Wicker Foundation, is an independent non-profit organization. It's regularly audited for security. As far as we know, Wicker has never been hacked or breached as well. So you can use it on all the most popular platforms. You don't need private info to sign up. The free version allows file sharing, one-on-one -on -one voice and video calls, text messaging, and groups of up to 10 members. The paid version has an awesome, totally unique feature that allows encrypted voice or video calling with up to 70 participants. Enormous social distance family gatherings, here we come. There are a couple of drawbacks to using Wicker. One is that messages don't sync across devices. It also has fewer users than some other popular messaging apps. Time to change that, guys. 
Viber is a solid service, but it has a few drawbacks. It's free and end-to-end -end encryption is default. There's a handy feature that uses color codes to show how secure your conversation is, and a popular self-destruct feature for destroying messages. Once again, you can use it on all major platforms to send texts, photos, videos, files, and voice messages, start groups, and do video and voice chats. There are no reported hacks or data breaches to date. Sadly, Viber is not open source, so it's more vulnerable to bugs and is less transparent. It's also owned by Rakuten, a large e-commerce company based in Japan. Also, end-to-end -end encryption is only available for one-on-one -on -one messaging. Group chats don't have the same level of security. Dust is also one of the best encrypted messaging apps of 2021. It's free and the complex end-to-end -end encryption methods are the default setting. Radical App, the company behind Dust, is independently owned and operated. The app can automatically erase messages after a set amount of time and notify you if a screenshot has been taken. You can also erase messages from someone else's phone in real time. It's never been hacked or breached. Unfortunately, Dust is not open source. It only works on iOS and Android, and it doesn't support voice or video calls and messages. This highly popular free encrypted messaging app has been using Signal's end-to-end -end encryption protocol since 2016. Encryption is enabled by default. You can use it on four popular platforms to join groups, share texts, files, photos, and videos, and do voice and video calls. The beauty of WhatsApp is that it has so many users around the world. Most of the people you know are probably on it. Keep in mind though that although the encryption protocol WhatsApp uses is open source, the apps themselves aren't. So it's only half the way to true transparency. And WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, a mega giant in the online industry that stands to gain from your data and is also famous for leaking huge amounts of private data from time to time. In fact, data about your behavior on WhatsApp is shared with Facebook. Happily, your messages are still private. Like many massive online platforms, WhatsApp has also been involved in some data breach and hacking scandals. This includes the famous Jeff Bezos hack rumor in 2018. But thanks to end-to-end -to -end encryption, cybercriminals are not able to read your messages. Just remember to stick to the normal online safety protocols when using WhatsApp, like having a strong password and not opening strange messages. The default iOS messaging app is actually a great secure messaging option for Apple users. It's free and end-to-end -end encryption is automatic. If you have iOS 10 or later, you can decide how long your message stays visible or how many times it can be viewed. You can send and receive texts, photos, videos, and files and join groups. However, it is not open source and is owned and developed by Apple, a tech giant familiar to us all. Any messages sent to a non-Apple device won't be encrypted. And be careful of iCloud backups as the way some of your information is stored, there is a potential flaw in Apple's privacy and security. Perhaps it's no surprise that Message has been caught up in some hacking scandals. This includes a malware program that spied on the Uyghur people in China, infecting a host of different messaging apps. Al Jazeera journalists were also hacked in 2020 when suspected political attackers exploited message vulnerabilities. However, both these attacks were highly targeted. Average users probably won't be attacked in this way. If you're on Android, you can't use Message, but you can use Threema. No private deets are required for sign-up. End-to-end encryption is enabled by default, and you can choose to delete your messages from the Threema servers after delivery. The apps are open source and independently audited regularly. Threema GmbH, the company behind Threema, is independent from any major corporations. You can send texts, voice messages, videos, photos, and files, do voice and video calls, and join groups. You can even create polls. Threema isn't free though, and it only has about 8 million users to date. Telegram is really popular right now, and it's easy to see why. This free messaging app offers end-to-end -end encryption and some great features. Messages can self-destruct, you can set bots to do tasks, and there's a cool photo and video editing tool. You can send texts, videos, files, and voice messages, do voice and video calls, and join massive group chats of up to 200,000 users. 
Telegram is independently owned and operated by Pavel and Nikolai Durov. The brothers were involved in the fight for free speech in Russia before being exiled and starting Telegram. Unfortunately, it's only available for mobile, so end-to-end -end encryption isn't enabled by default. To use it, switch to secret chat mode. Also, the apps aren't entirely open source. It's not possible to see what happens on the servers. Telegram has been involved in some hacking scandals. These include several breaches which took place on separate occasions in 2019. The most infamous of these when activists in Hong Kong found that law enforcement was using Telegram to track them. In response to the problem, the company upped their privacy. Guys, these are some great apps. Signal or Wicker are the most secure messaging apps on this list. The disadvantages to using them don't affect your privacy. The other apps have pros and cons, but all of them will protect your messages from prying eyes. Friends, secure messaging apps are important privacy tools, but you need to know that they don't offer absolute security. If a person or a group has enough time and resources, there's always a workaround. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and check out my other videos to fully protect your privacy. Subscribe to this channel to get all the best privacy tutorials each week. Thanks for watching.